。从一九九九年到二零零七年，中国的器官移植呈现爆炸式的发展，自二零零三年几乎是成倍的增长。那么，在中国的部分医院呢，甚至宣称他们的等待时间只有七到十四天。这在其他国家也形成了一股到中国大陆进行器官移植的热潮，这股热潮也为器官的来源画上了一个巨大的问号。在中国，由于受传统文化的影响，每年的器官捐赠数字也只有两位数。即便是如中共官方所说的，有超过百分之九十的器官来自死刑犯。但是仍旧远远无法满足每年上万起的器官移植，这不禁令人怀疑，这背后是否隐藏了一个系统的、庞大的活体器官库？二零零六年三月，有知情人士曝光了中国大陆活体摘取法轮功学员器官的惨案，使这一隐藏在黑暗中的罪恶的、血腥的。器官来源浮出了水面。在今天的访谈影片中，受访者是大卫麦塔斯和大卫乔高。大卫麦塔斯是加拿大著名的人权律师，大卫乔高是加拿大前国会议员。他们对这一项严肃的指控进行了详细的调查，并将调查结果集结成这本书《血腥的活摘器官》，在国际社会引发了。强烈的关注One of the first pe people we met with was the wife of a former surgeon,、uh, and she told us, and I guess this was 2006.、Uh, she's now a refugee living in the United States. She told us that her husband, during the period 2001-2003, had removed the corneas from the eyes of approximately 2,000 Falun Gong practitioners in a place called Sujiatin in, the, in rural China. And、uh, he told her in detail how he'd done it. He couldn't sleep. He had nightmares.、Uh, eventually, he, she got him to stop doing it, and they ended up leaving the country. And, and、uh, she's now in the U.S. And in fact, at one point, her husband, her former husband, was in Canada. But what basically happened was that that people in a, would be brought into a hospital in, near Sujiatin, and they would、uh, be given, a, I guess, a light anesthetic. Their corneas would be removed. Then they're They're unconscious at this point. They'd be taken into another room, and their heart, lung, all their vital organs would be removed for sale purposes.、Uh, and、um, it was eventually they they did all the operations in one room. But but the the, the thought of this、uh, now, a lot of people unfortunately have attacked her. So what we've done in the book is we've basically got about 52 kinds of evidence. And I, I was a prosecutor for 10 years, so I should know something about evidence. And you may say I don't like、uh, the one I just get mentioned to you. I don't like the fact that we had people, for example, calling into China to hospitals and prisons and, and saying, uh, uh, "Do you have Falun Gong practitioners available for organs?" And the answer in about 15 institutions across the country was yes. We recorded those conversations. We had independent interpreters. So、uh, that's that's number two, and we've got about another 50 pieces of evidence that. I think lead any fair-minded person to the conclusion that this truly is is taking place in China and is continuing to take place. Well, you're talking about organ harvesting, right?、Yeah. And so,、uh, tell us about that piece well, of it. Well, if、uh, you, Robert, want a, a a new liver, you can go on the internet, and you can, I think, still you can fly to a place like Shanghai, check into the number one people's hospital, and they take your blood type and your tissue type, and then.、Uh, They go on the computer base, and they they because all of the Falun Gong practitioners, which David mentioned a minute ago, are in these work camps. They find there's a match for you in say camp number 75. Somebody goes out to camp 75, and 
brings this compatible person into a hospital, he, it's a he, is given a light anesthetic, his liver is taken out, and of course he's dead. The liver is then flown to you in Shanghai by the People's Liberation Army aircraft. You've paid probably $60,000, whatever the price is for a liver at the time, and uh, you're told you're getting the liver from a convicted uh, c criminal who was going to be executed anyway, so you're desperate about your liver and you, you want to believe that, um, that, that the person was going to die anyway, and you fly back to San Diego with your, with your new liver and somebody has died so that you could have the new liver. That's a lot more than persecution. That's, uh, that's uh, something that David has called a new crime against humanity. And we've just been, uh, and we've actually talked to people who've been in these camps, Falun Gong practitioners. And uh, I'm going to talk to one in a talk tomorrow about a young woman who, was, who was, worked 16 hours a day making products for export like Christmas decorations. And, uh, and there are about, the estimates vary, but there are about 300,000 people working in these forced labor camps. And, uh, Every three months, a doctor would come in and examine her from top to bottom, and she'd say to herself, well, why are they examining me? They, they have no interest in me, except to torture me or to overwork me for nothing. But now they, she understands, and people understand, as they're being tested to see how good their organs are for, for, for sale of the organs. This is something unimaginable to, to, to uh, I think, to most human beings in China and in elsewhere. And you said there are other people in the labor camps, but it's only the Falun Gong f uh, people who get, uh, who get tested and whose or organs are harvested. Do you have a sense of why? Oh, oh yes. We have, in fact, uh, interestingly, when David got our awards in Switzerland, we had a, a meeting with the Transplant Society in, in Switzerland, and the doctor, who's the head of it there, he said he heard this woman get up and say how she'd been tested and wh how she'd been tested in these camps. One of them was... Um, was a, uh, um, a, a scan of her organs, and he said he 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 agreed. He just the penny dropped for him then because he realized she wasn't being examined for her health. She was being examined to see whether an ultrasound uh, through an ultrasound to see whether her organs were in good condition for being uh, for being sold.这东西你要扫路子你你才能找要不扫路子你给人家打什么各种关节台能够拿那你负费用就比较比较大了因为他呢那那里他就像批发价了知道吗哦他那批发价比如说就是说你们以前用的就是说是从哪里走是看守所还
The average waiting time for a kidney in the U.S. is four years. The period differs between states. For example, it could take up to 6.5 years in California. Even for organs with shorter waiting times, like a liver, the waiting period is still two years. But in 2006, Chinese hospitals ran promotions saying things like, waiting for an organ? It only takes two weeks here. Tilan Chao Prison is Shanghai's largest prison. In 2004, it published a report saying the prison performed physical exams, including blood pressure, heart and lung auscultation, liver and spleen palpation, as well as x-rays of the chest cavity. The cost per person is on average 10 US dollars. Blood tests, which would be needed to detect organ functions, are not part of the test. For Falun Gong practitioners detained there, it is commonplace for their blood to be tested. Also, some had ultrasounds. A heart ultrasound costs around $35. A liver ultrasound is around $15. We know that a physical exam like this costs at least $60. For a prison, this is no doubt a huge cost.